All right. Well, I am going to turn it over to the students. All right, guys, it's your time to shine. Caleb, you can start to share your screen and everybody else get ready to have your minds blown. Um, so, hello, my name is Yair Zarate. I'm a 10th grade at Compton Energy College, and um, <laughs> I'm an intern for the Go Get Initiative program. This program has allowed us to work with stu um, students from all different school districts, such as Compton, Hayward, Oakland, and Singanon Valley. We've been working all summer and learning about energy efficiency. Today's presentation is about how we, as students, can help you save energy for our um, schools. Um, next slide. Yeah, um, climate change and living a sustainable lifestyle are topics often in ordinary communities like ours, and we're driven to change that. I was trying to reference how certain issues are not being taken care of in communities like mine, and we want to motivate the students and faculty to make a change in their communities and in their schools. Uh, next one. Hello, my name is Emily Navarro, and I'm a rising junior at Centennial High School in Compton, California. And I'm going to be talking about why we care. Our life. School is an important part of a student's life. These schools were built decades ago, and we have to think about the negative effect it can have on our health and the way we learn. Any type of discomfort can affect students' learning environment, especially when it comes to the weather. So we want everyone to be comfortable and ready to work. Our community. These are our schools, our cities, and our futures. We want to emphasize the importance of creating a community that's more involved, including our friends and family. If we don't take the initiative now, we'll never accomplish your goals. Our environment. One of the most important points is sustainability and how we can create an overall healthier school. This can be the beginning of a great improvement, not only for ourselves, but for our campus. Creating and implementing our plans now will have a positive effect both on us and future generations. Hi, my name is Jane Haida and I am a rising senior at Skyline High School in Oakland, California. Next, we will go over some of our SMART goals. The acronym SMART stands for Specific, Measurable, Achievable, Relevant, and Time-Bound. Our SMART goals are both short-term and long-term. Our first goal is to help our district save money on their energy bills. Energy accounts for a huge portion of a school district's budget. According to the Energy Star Energy Efficiency Toolkit, K through 12 school districts across the United States spend approximately $8 billion a year on energy costs. Up to 30% of the energy used in districts is completely wasted. For example, Compton Unified is spending $1.7 million per year on utilities. And with NG's help, they can save over $712,000 on energy costs. We hope to save 30% on each of our school district's energy bills by using the help of the district staff and students to improve systems with simple behavioral changes. By saving on our energy bills for five years, our school districts will have the time and opportunity to both save money and put more funding towards programs, field trips, activities, facilities improvements, etc. Hi, my name is Nathaniel Driz. I'm a raising junior at Hayward High School and I'm from Hayward, California. Here we have some goals in our school communities. First, students will implement a new energy efficiency club in their schools in the coming year. Clubs like these encourage students to take action towards saving energy through individual actions. Our other plan is that in the next year, when we are all back at school, we will launch a behavioral change campaign for all students and staff to adopt energy have energy efficient habits. As stated by the Energy Efficiency Toolkit referenced earlier, this campaign has the potential to transform the energy culture of our school community. We will get, in, we will get more into depth about these behavioral changes in the upcoming slides. Hello, my name is Michael and I'm a rising sophomore at Dominguez High School in Compton, California. One of our campus goals is to make our school's Energy Star certified over the next three years. To do this, we need to first make sure our, school, our schools are registered on Energy Star Portfolio Manager and, uh, and that all data inputted 
is valid and up to date. But for a building to be Energy Star certified, they need to earn an Energy Star score of 75 or higher. Be Energy Star certified is contributing to the fight against climate change because it's verified that these campuses use 35% less energy, meaning that the campus is generating 35% fewer greenhouse gas emissions. Our other goal for our campuses is to ensure that in five years, energy efficient content will be included and taught in all science curriculums. In science classes and curriculums, this will mean having a lesson on green energy and environmental problems and how it relates to the science subject being taught. Similarly, schools that have career pathways can create lessons and even classes specifically around green energy and environmental problems. For example, National Energy Education Development, or NEED for short, produced a free downloadable curriculum material on energy that complies with all common core standards, state standards for English and mathematics, especially align, aligning to the next generation science standards need. Also, ha, NEED also has kits schools can purchase to help students and, and teachers with energy treasure hunt. Overall, by taking steps towards being more energy efficient and involving students and staff in sustainable practices, our districts will motivate other schools around us to do the same. Hi, my name is Deja Patterson and I am a rising junior at Centennial High School in Compton, California. Energy efficiency and sustainability is something that is vital in our society and our environment. If we start now, we can do something revolutionary. To elaborate on this quote from my fellow interns on the Zoom call today, other districts may look at ours as an example of what they are capable of. The results of our energy efficiency projects will be seen by LEDs and school districts, leading them to take action towards making a more sustainable living environment as well. We can all start something revolutionary with one small step a day for the good of the school, community, and the environment. Hi, I'm Nathaniel Lozo and I'm a rising junior at Hayward High School in Hayward, California. In the upcoming slides, we will discuss how to become more energy efficient and the benefits it will bring. Energy conf conservation will reduce the amount of money any given district spends by switching to energy efficient technologies such as LED lights, solar panels, and modern or updated HVAC systems. Another benefit to using energy efficient systems is protecting the health of people as we use less fossil fuels. Non-modern HVAC systems may cause allergies for both students and staff. The ACEEE, or the American Council for an Energy Efficient Economy, states that fine particles within the matter of fossil fuel pollutants may cause health problems such as lung, lung cancer, which take more lives than any other form of cancer in the United States. By obtaining energy efficient technologies, we will erase our need for fossil fuels. Finally, being an energy efficient Energy efficient means using less energy from polluting power plants, which will greatly reduce greenhouse gas emissions, leading to us contributing less to climate change and leaving a better impact on the environment. Hi, I'm Caleb Granado, and I'll be a senior at Sangamon Valley High School. Promoting energy efficiency can help students understand the benefits that will, that will be coming to their school and will attract their attention to help motivate them to get more involved. We can engage students through outreach techniques such as the poster shown here. These techniques can remind students all over the school how they can help and or make an impact. For schools first starting on their student outreach, the Energy Star Communications Toolkit can be a great reference. Another way of engaging both students and community members can be through competitions or events that supply rewards and incentives to those who participate and make the biggest impact. Hello, my name is Catherine Ramirez and I'm a rising sophomore at Compton Early College High School in Compton, California. I will be talking about how clubs can help the different districts here today become more energy efficient. To help get students more involved in the energy saving process at school, a club dedicated to energy efficiency can be created. An example of this type of club would be the local leaders of the 21st century, which is under the Go Green Initiative program. This club is designed to help students understand how local public policy and industry work together to implement and maintain systems such as waste, water, energy, and food in their communities. These energy clubs would have meetings once or twice a week where members could learn different techniques and complete various projects to save energy. Other on-campus club on leaders, club. leaders can also get involved and collaborate to discuss plans and ideas on how they can practice more energy efficient habits. 
So once clubs are, create, are created, as said in the previous slide, the next step would be to promote these clubs to get students to join. Hello, my name is Aaron Butler, and I'm an upcoming sophomore at Dominguez High School in Compton, California. And this is how students could get involved. Students can help their school save energy in several different ways, such as turning off lights when people are not in the classroom, opening blinds to allow natural light in, unplugging appliances such as computers, projectors, where they're not being used, and making sure that windows and doors are closed when the air conditioning is running. Also, students can encourage, encourage their school to use Energy Star, Portfolio Manager, Portfolio Manager, and even to create an account for themselves. This will help track energy usage. Hello, my name is Samuela Lucinos, and I'm a rising sophomore at Compton Early College High School in Compton, California. And these are the next steps that our school districts can take to improve the schools and become more energy efficient. Next slide. Our first step is to get the community and students involved. We plan we have created a plan on doing this by creating energy efficiency clubs in our schools. These clubs can meet, can meet with other clubs and community groups to share plans for improving the community through sustainable practices and habits. The students can then work on making speeches, presentations like we're doing right now, or making posters, announcements, social media posts, and surveys to encourage sustainability. Next, to keep students interested in the concepts of energy conservation, the energy clubs will host energy competitions that encourage participants to save energy with fun prizes like classroom parties or field trips. Last but not least, we will need your help running fundraisers, fundraisers at our schools and in our communities, as well as applying for grants to receive funding you need. Next slide. Hello, my name is Braden Wickline and I will be a senior at Sangamon Valley High School. The second step is creating a plan or vision for our schools. We plan on doing this by having a facility walkthrough to inspect and examine energy usage and the overall condition of the school. We will use the data from the facility's walkthrough and put it into the school's Energy Star portfolio to check our eligibility for Energy Star certification. We will also keep track of our energy usage to meet our energy conservation goals. The money we save can be used for other things such as the new curriculum or better classroom materials. To get students more involved, we will conduct an energy treasure hunt around our school's buildings to look for easy ways we can save energy. Using all the data we collect, we will help the district to prioritize and plan things like facility upgrades and other future projects. Hi. We may be having a little bit of technical difficulty with Kyler. Projects and plans. Kyler, would you mind starting over because your Wi-Fi was just a little bit lagging there? Try that one more time, please. Um, from the top? Yes, please. Okay. Hi, my name is Kyler, and I'm a rising 10th grader at Compton High. What we have listed here are some examples of how you can help. To start, you may be able to give us any references from different districts that we will be able to connect with. This will help spread our plans and maybe even get help, such as sponsors and partnerships for future projects and plans. It would also be useful to gain access to information like Energy Bills, previous Energy Star Certificate, and access to profiles like Energy Star Portfolio Manager. The last thing I would like to mention is financial aid. We need financial help for plans such as field trips, prizes, as well as help on upgrades for utilities like air conditioning, lighting, flooring, and maintenance work. Hello, my name is Stephanie Urbina, and I'm a rising junior at Dominguez High School in Compton, California. How the district can help. We want to be get involved, however, as students, we're very limited on what we're allowed to act upon, meaning we would need help from our school districts. As you can see from the slide shown, we have questions for the school district's energy manager, facility manager, maintenance personnel, and student and school board members. Regarding the, the district, we need approval from them to act on our plans, such as facility changes, investments, and events. The energy 
the energy management staff can also help us by creating an Energy Star portfolio account and giving us access to the profile. So we can view how much energy we use annually and more. We also need to make sure that our districts have an energy conservation policy in place. If the school board adopts an energy conservation policy, the district will be able to not only save money, but also set a positive example on the surrounding schools and communities who may be thinking of doing similar plans. Hello, my name is Zakaria Dotson from Compton, California, and I'm a rising sophomore at Compton High, and I'll be talking about how officials on our school campus can help. We have some questions for our principals, science directors, custodians, and other staff about some of the things listed in the Energy Star Energy Efficiency Toolkit. Our number one goal is to save energy in our schools. We need principals to not only encourage students, but help come up with a plan to create energy clubs in our schools. Custodians can help to clean lighting structures often to ensure the systems are functioning adequately. Our fellow classmates can help contribute to making our school save as much money as possible by participating in energy competitions with our science directors. Hi, I'm Zianna, I'm a rising senior from Skyline High School in Oakland, California. We interns still have so many questions for you and we would love for you to join us in breakout rooms after the presentation to help us better understand the energy situation of our school districts. And now we will move on to the conclusion and our closing thoughts. In summary, we wanna save our school's energy, whether that be through conservation or by using more efficient systems. Not only is this good for our environment, but also for our communities. This also leads to another one of our goals, which is to save money. As schools lose more and more money, whether due to budget cuts or unpredictable circumstances, such as the pandemic, students are not getting the best education and experience possible. By reducing the cost of an essential school system, such as energy, we can direct those funds towards other student needs, like reducing the technology gap between students, which can be done through improvements on outdated and inefficient facilities. Another way to save money is to promote student or save energy is to promote student involvement through clubs and energy competition and to create a vision for what we want our school to look like, having students and district staff working together towards achievable short-term and long-term goals. By doing these things, we will be able to provide our school community with the best working and learning environment possible. Thank you for listening. A special, a special thanks to our supervisor and manager, Jill, everyone from our various districts that came here today, and us, the NG interns of the Go Green Initiative. Now, with that being said, any questions that you guys might have or any concerns? Thank you, Emily, and thank you, interns. Caleb, you can stop sharing your screen, and we are going to have just a moment to introduce a couple of people who came into the room. And um, before we go into breakout rooms, we have Mr. Makai Ali, who is the president of the Compton Unified School District School Board. Would you like to say hello to everyone? Good afternoon. Well, actually, is it what time is it? It's it's, it's twelve this three. much afternoon, just a smidge. It is, it is indeed <laughs> after, good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon to my Compton scholars. First and foremost, thank each and every student on the Zoom call. I want to give a special shout out to NG as well as all of the adults who've been responsible for making this happen today. This is a very important topic, a very important issue one of which we must pay close attention to. And I'm glad that you guys have honed in, you, you're laser focused around how we can address one of the most enormous expenses within U.S. schools today, and that is indeed energy cost. And so the Energy Star has suggested that approximately $6 billion each and every year is spent on energy costs associated with schools within the United States of America. Now, I understand something. That's second only to personnel costs exceeding the cost of textbooks and or supplies. So this is significant, and this is something that we have to address in order for us to ensure that we can provide an adequate support as well as enhanced curriculum offerings to our students. So someone said that they want the school board to be actively involved and engaged. And I'm gonna challenge you and say this, 
you write policy the Compton students work with your cohorts from other districts if in fact you're so inclined write some policy around energy, energy efficiency write some ways in which you as students can get involved and take a leadership role in driving positive engagement and, and interaction on campus with the administrators as it relates to energy conservation once we come back to school establishing a new normal helping your families establish new normals around energy conservation and i will then usher that policy before the school board and you guys will then come on line hopefully we're back in session if not we'll do it within the next few meetings few months we meet once a month and the board will entertain whatever policies you draft and that will then become district policy for the Compton Unified School District. Be your first piece of local legislation in order to drive substantive change within the community. It all starts with schools. The school district is the largest landowner in the community. There are more facilities, public facilities that the school district operates than anyone else in the immediate vicinity. And we're responsible for a lot of folks, including you students, as well as thousands of employees. So again, I'm putting it back on you. Write the policy, coordinate with me, and we'll make it happen. Now, are we all in agreement? Is that cool? And in that, policy, in that policy, you then direct what you believe the school board should do and the administrative staff with respect to ensuring that we're doing all we can do to make a tremendous imprint and indenture, if you will, and to this enormous cost known as energy costs associated with the Compton Unified School District. So again, that's my pledge to you. I hope you accept my challenge. And I look forward to working collaboratively with each and every one of you around possibly looking at programs that will save the Compton Unified School District a tremendous amount of money. So so Compton interns, that was kind of a mic drop there. And I know you guys were nervous going into this. So did, do you believe me now when I tell you you don't need to be nervous? <laughs> You've got support. We're going to go into breakout rooms. Every single adult who came to, to commune with your students, now we're going to send you into breakout rooms to do exactly that. And I'm so excited. I'm going to open up the breakout rooms and you've got 15 minutes to talk to these brilliant young leaders about what's next. So thank you, Mr. Ali, for that pep talk. Perfect way to start our breakout rooms. So bear with me. Here we go. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Welcome Hello. back. Well, I hate to cut your time short with these students. I get to be with them, you know, a lot of hours in the week. But um, before we sign off, I'd love to hear some of the reflections from some of the adult leaders who were in each of the breakout rooms, um, just to tell us what your thoughts are, what your reaction is. Um, let's start with Compton. And uh, Makai, you know, you're, you're the president of the school board. What happened in your breakout room? The students. Um, okay. oh, everybody must... mute yourself unless yeah. you're not talking. <laughs> there you go. So, uh, what I was intrigued about and very much encouraged by is the students' willingness to drive systemic change at the local level and hold themselves accountable for championing energy efficiency, not just at the school, but also within the community. And so this is a grassroots, this is a, a weeds effort. We sprout up as opposed to the district driving down, students are sprouting up. And some very, are sparking, I like that. We're talking about energy and sparks, they're gonna spark and ignite. And so we're very pleased by that. In addition, many of the students are, are interested in ensuring that there, there's alignment with public policy. And I wanna be able to support them within that vein. And if that calls for district policy within Compton, and then of course we began driving change within Sacramento, let us start and let us do it locally right here. So I, the students challenged me, they've accepted the challenge, and I believe that we'll be able to work collaboratively toward a positive end. And I'm very impressed 
I'm very impressed by the students' diligence. However, I'm not surprised because that's what Compton embodies and that's what we do each and every day is help our students elevate. Well, thank you so much. And I'm so proud of them. Um, and I know why you are because they worked so hard this summer and were so impressive. And so I'm so glad you got to see them in action on this particular project. And I know it'll just be the first of many times that you'll get to see them in action. So thank you for your partnership and for being with them. Mr. Meadows from Sangamon Valley, what happened in your breakout room? Thank you for joining us. You're the superintendent. So I told our interns, you've got the top dog in your school district. <laughs> what happened? We talked about um, things that we could do to, to kind of continue and move forward. Um, you know, as a small district, one of the questions that I had for them uh, obviously was they probably didn't have an opportunity to go out and see any uh, of the other schools or that sort of thing because everybody's across the country. But um, it was nice to, I guess, to see everybody's presentation. And, you know, for us moving forward, we need to continue to look for ways to save energy. And we have some old school buildings and um, we have some outdated uh, heating systems. Uh, some of them we couldn't get to with the NG project, but um, we will continue to look at, at different things that we can do to, to try to save energy moving forward. And, and lighting is probably the, the next biggest thing, um, you know, after the, the HVAC systems that, that we could target to try to save some money, so, and energy. Outstanding, outstanding. Well, thank you, Superintendent Meadows. We are so honored thank to have you. you with us. It was awesome. Let's Great go to Oakland. Everybody. <laughs> what happened in the Oakland breakout room? I'll leave it up to whoever wants to represent. Go ahead, Brendan. Sure. I, I, you know, I, I, just again, uh, you know, huge, huge appreciation for, for all of the students uh, in, in doing that presentation. Um, one of the things, um, not, aside from just being action oriented and very concrete about what you want to achieve and, um, you know, all that, one of the things from the breakout that, that I liked uh, hearing from our, our scholars was, the concern around, you know, as rising seniors, you know, how are we going to put something in place so that it doesn't fall apart or it continues to, um, to thrive once we, you know, go off to college. And so that's just a, 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 a really important element of, of sustainability work, right, is that we can, we can do these really great one-off projects, but what's the, what's the true value of it if, it if it doesn't get carried on by, by others? So that was one of my main reflections. Does anybody else from Oakland wanna speak on that? Please go right ahead. You have to unmute yourself. Sorry, hey, you're, yeah, yeah. Sorry. I have to add that for the Energy Club idea, the two awesome students are from two different pathways and there are four pathways in the school. I would like them to go get two leaders from the other two pathways and collaborate together and form this one big energy club and they will be the energy leaders in their own pathways to carry this out and then get some students to be part of the club so that they carry this on from year you no know, year after year so that would be great awesome that's exciting how about hayward what happened in the hayward breakout room Who are our adults who were in the Hayward breakout room? Uh, Lockie, I was in there. All right. We had a few others and um, Nathaniel and Nathaniel, the students. Uh, well, let's see, we talked about um, what, uh, what sort of things would be involved in forming a club. Uh, we talked about there's solar installation that's mostly finished there, large installation in the parking lot, and how that uh, is going online and could be used um, as the data and getting access to the data, you know, for the students. Uh, and also talked a little bit about how the club could really be uh, sort of formed by the students to somewhat fit their interests. So we have a green club, but also, um, you don't have to model it on the green club, which you know basically does like uh, gardening in the school, among other things. Uh, 
but could bring in you know aspects of environmental in engineering um architecture planning lead certification you know remediation for energy i mean just kind of the interest of the students because that's also a big part of it is building up sort of the human capital side of the knowledge of the students to go on to um you know greatness <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, that sounds like you guys had a great discussion. You know, it, it, it can't be lost on any of us that this wouldn't have happened had it not been for NG. I mean, this the support for this, the structure of this, who, you know, how many seats we could offer and from what school districts was all thanks to them. So I want to I want to say thank you so much to our partners with NG. Um, and I want to say thank you to the students. They worked hard. And, and on Monday, I told Don Johnson this the other day, but on Monday, I said, I want you guys to think about what would happen, what would you say next summer? Let's say you're the team leaders of this same internship, and we've got brand new interns coming in, and you're their team leader. What would you say day one? And everybody, all the interns said, it's a lot more work than you think it might be. <laughs> so they were working so hard this summer, and I am so proud of them. You know, I want to respect everyone's time, but we're in no rush to get off of this call. If there's anything else that any of our guests who've witnessed this today would like to say about what they witnessed or, or anything you want to say to the interns, go right ahead, unmute yourselves and, um, and say what you'd like. I just want to tell the interns that you all are future leaders and we're really proud of you. Keep up the good work. Don't let it end here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, and, and on that note, you know, don't, don't cut yourself short. Um, don't underestimate the power of your voice. Um, you know, there's a lot of folks that, that support you uh, and want to support you and want to hear from you. So keep, keep on fighting. Thank you, Brendan. And I want to. I want to thank. I want to thank all the students for investing in, in their own education and you know looking into uh, these careers in energy. Um, <clears throat> you know, there's a lot of other things they could have been doing during the summer. <laughs> um, the other thing I want I wanted to share was thank you for investing time on something that's so important to our community. So uh, thank you for taking the initiative and knowing that you you get what you put out. I mean. You, you get what you put in. And so thank you for all your hard work. And again, thank you, Angie and um, Jill and Kelly. Thank you for working with our students. So my pleasure. So my pleasure. Thank you. All right. Well, thank you all for joining us for our virtual open house. And I hope you all have a great rest of the week. And thanks for tuning in. Um, I'm going to stay right here with the interns. You guys stay put. We've still got 25 minutes left on the clock, um, but thank you to all of our adults, and uh, we'll be talking with you soon. Thank you guys for coming. Bye. Thank you. 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 Bye. Thank you.